Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's encode the logic. I hope you all are doing good. In this video, we are going to discuss about a program to check whether a number is a Hirschet number or not. So without making any delay, let's quickly jump into the discussion. So what is a Hirschet number? A number is said to be a Hirschet number if it is divisible by some of its digits. And Hirschet number is also known as Neven number. So a number is said to be a Hirschet number if it is divisible by some of its digits. Right. For example, 18 is a Hirschet number. So, what is the sum of its digits? It was 1 plus 8, which is equal to 9. Right? And if we perform 18 mod 9, then we will get remainder as 0. Right? Because 9 is divisible by 18. So, that's why 18 is a Hirschet number. And 15 is not a Hirschet number. Because what is the result of sum of its digits in 15? It was 1 plus 5, which is equal to 6. Right? So, if I do... 15 mod 6, is it divisible? No, right. If I do 15 mod 6, then I will get the remainder as 3, not 0, right. So that's why 15 is not a Hirschet number, simple. So now we need to write a program to check whether a number is a Hirschet number or not. We can easily check whether a number is divisible by some other number or not, right. So there is no problem for it. But coming to some of the digits of a number, we need to know how to write a code for it. I have already made a video on finding the sum of digits of a number, guys. If you haven't watched that video yet, please do watch it. I will provide the link in the description box, so please do check it. Again, in this video, I will explain the concept of how to find out sum of digits of a number. So, let's take a number, 123. So, what we need? We need the digits, right? For that, we need to extract the digits from a number. So, now the question is how to extract the digits from a number. It is very simple. We can extract the last digit of this number, that was 3, very easily. So, if we perform 123 mod 10, then we can get the last digit very easily. So, let's do that. So, 10 to also 120. Right. Now, the reminder was 3. I got my last digit. Okay, fine. Now, I need to get my second last digit. Right. And if you observe the quotient of 123 divided by 10 was 12, which is the remaining part, right? So, take this quotient and to get the second last digit, just do 12 mod 10. So, if you do 10 and then 12, so 10 ones are 10, right? And the remainder was 2, right? So, we got the second last digit also. Now, we need to get the third last digit. Right, And if you observe the coefficient of 12 divided by 10, it was 1, which is the remaining number. Right. So, this time again take this and just do 1 more 10. And if you do 10 divided by 1, 10 zeros are 0 and my remainder was 1. So, we got the third last digit also. Simple. So, for the reminders, we will do n more 10. And for the quotient, we will do n by 10, right? And one more thing, in the first iteration, my n was 123. And in the second iteration, the quotient of the previous iteration is the n, right? And in the third iteration, my n was the previous iteration quotient, right? So in this way, we will extract the digits from the number. So now we need to write the code for it. So, before diving into the coding part, let's figure out the logic in simple words. At first, we have to take the input. That was simple n. And coming to the logic part, we will use a while loop. And we will iterate on the number to extract the digits. So, we will implement this logic. Okay. And while iterating, we will add all these reminders to a variable. After completion of the iterations, we will check if the number is divisible by some of its digits or not. For that, we will use an if else statement. If it is divisible, then we will print the number is a Hirschet number. If it is not divisible, we will print the number is not a Hirschet number. Simple. So now let's write the code for it. Let me keep a comment first. Check if a number is Hirschet number. At first, we need to take the input n equal to int of input of enter it number right later i will use a while loop so let's figure out the while loop condition later let's focus on the logic part so 
at first what we need to do we need to extract the digits right for that we need to find out the reminder right that was n mod 10 okay let's do that n mod 10 and i will store the result in some variable let us take the variable as reminder equal to right and then what i need to do i need to add that reminder to some variable right so let's take that variable as answer variable and initialize it to zero. I initialized answer equal to zero because I was adding some values to answer variable. So for that purpose only I initialize my variable as zero. Now what I need to do? I need to add the reminder to answer variable, right? So answer plus equal to reminder, which is also similar to answer equal to answer plus reminder, both are same. And now what I need to do? I need to change my end to the previous iteration quotient, right? So to get the previous iteration quotient, I will do n by 10. And I again making this as n, right? And equal to n by 10. And I will use a float division to get the precise value, right? So now coming to the while condition. So where do we need to stop the iterations? Once all the digits in the number was completed, right? So if you observe, this is the first iteration and this is the second iteration and the third iteration. And in the fourth iteration, what is my n? My n value was 0, right? So this will act as a terminating condition, right? So I need to mention while n not equal to zero. So every time I will check is my number is not equal to zero or not. If it is true, then this block of code will be executed. Once my n will become zero, I will check is zero not equal to zero. No, right? Then automatically this block will not going to be executed and will come to this next line after the while loop. So now what do I need to do? I need to check whether the number is divisible by answer or not, some of its digits or not, right? So for that, I will use an if-else statement. I will do if n mod answer equal to equal to zero or not. If you write the statement like this, then it will be a blunder mistake, guys, because after the iterations, what was my n? My n will become zero, right? That's why I kept this as my terminating condition. So then how do I need to get my actual n value? Simple. You just need to restore the value of n. So I will use a num variable and I will store n. Simple. Now I will keep my condition as if num mod answer equal to equal to 0 or not. If, if it is divisible, then I will print number is a Harshad number, right? So num is a Harshad number. Or else I will print num is not a Harshad number, right? Simple. So now let's run this program. So I will enter 18. So if you see 18 is a Harshad number, right? And I will enter 15. So 15 is not a Harshad number, right? I'll again run this program. So I will give 300. 300 is a Harshad number. If you sum the digits in 300, then you will get 3. Is 300 divisible by 3? Yes, it's true, right? So that's why 300 is a Harshad number. And let me run this program again. I will enter 29. If you see 29 is not a Harshad number because 2 plus 9, which was 11. Is 29 is divisible by 11? No, right? That's why 29 is not a Harshad number. So in this way, we will write a program to check whether a number is a Harshad number or not, guys. So that's it about today's video guys. I hope you like this video and thank you for watching. Hey folks, if you enjoyed this coding tutorial and found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share it with your fellow coding buddies, drop it comment with your thoughts or questions and of course, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Your support means a lot and it helps our community grow. Happy coding!